Hey guys, Bort here, back with another video, me something stepped out, Trials of Horror XXX, I, I, I event, aka Trials of Horror 33, so today we're going to be buying the House of Usher building with Edgar Allan Poe, this actually looks really cool, um, I'm not actually sure what the House of Usher is, I'm pretty sure it's something relating to Edgar Allan Poe, it might be something from one of his books, which is not very familiar with his literature, so, you know, comment down below, um, people who know a lot about, like, books and stuff, because I've, I don't know much about Edgar Allan Poe, but I'm very excited for his character, because, um, he's definitely still a really cool, like, um, author, uh, if you look back, um, in, like, the first two of horror, actually, um, the Raven segment is, um, it, just a complete telling of, uh, the, his Raven story, and it's really great animated with, um, James Earl Jones doing the voice acting, definitely one of my favorite segments, actually, in the Trials of Horror, so, I think that's gonna, maybe they'll connect that, because Raven is in the game, but, um, yeah, let's place this, and yes, I'm sure. Um, and, as always, um, I'm not gonna be doing the full quest line, so I would like to use this character to, um, do, uh, have him in the, um, the prize tractor, so I can get those videos out to you guys quicker. Also, um, I noticed with, uh, Willy the Riveteer costume and, um, as well the, uh, Headless Horseman costume, they receive tasks and animations later in their quest line. And as I don't do the quest line, I kind of, like, aided on them. For example, oh, here's one for Willy. Um, got. so, you know, if I, like, mess up on that, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Um, so, yeah, I won't be quite as harsh. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's do this. Where buildings come from. Being in Springfield oh, def definitely makes me feel weak and weary. So yeah, another character in the h of War collection. Um, and before we check out his quest line, let's check out the House of Usher building. And already this looks amazing. I love how it kind of, like, peeks up like a kind of mountainside building. But it's not too big like uh, these castles. I think it really works well. Uh, the design, just like everywhere, oh, it's not even part of it, the just design of it just looks really nice. A, a bit small, but I love the sign. Looking, hope the raven, hoping the raven doesn't come out again, and I, wait, hoping the raven doesn't come over again, and I'm pretty sure that's actually, um, the castle that the raven story is set in, so, not sure, but looking at the, uh, quest sign, let's, uh, let's check that out. The denizens of the city cannot appreciate the sophisticated dread of exequit Victorian horror. I don't, I didn't know what I just said. <laughs> Can the tales of a 19th century poet give these modern morons a proper stare? I need to explore the existential dread of their modern lives. Existential dread? Well, our pensions were granted and now we all have to retire as jobs as small, small mark readers. Great friends and neighbors can be quite enriching. Doomed to stand in front of doors that open automatically, is smiling at jerks who won't make eye contact, occasionally being asked where the dog treats have been moved to, but no one knows. No one knows. Gasp. <gasps> that does sound horrific. Maybe the modern world has more inspiration to provide than I initially believed. So Poe looked for inspiration, and oh, okay, yeah. So that is a animated, and it does look like the animated tasks will be through the quest line, but lucky for us, uh, one of his animated tasks actually is in the beginning of the quest line, so I will be checking that one out, but his other tasks are 60 minutes look for quill pins, 8 hours dance with senior burns, 8 hours secretly binge reality TV shows, 24 hours try to pitch the ribbon too, and I'm sure there will be a 12 hour and 4 hour, uh, I think this is the 4 hour and then the 12 hour will be the other animated one later in the quest line. But let's check out Look for Inspiration. Oh, and, uh, yeah, he's riding the three eyed fish, pops up. Uh, I'm guessing it's just gonna be him walking around and then that three. Is it only the three eyed fish? I do kind of wish. Yeah, <sighs> three eyed fish wish, yeah. Okay, one complaint I do like this animation, but I feel like we could use a little more variety. Instead of it just being the three eyed fish one over and over again. Because um, mm -hmm. I would much like it. Um, but overall, just looking at his character design, uh, he was like shown in the show through a um, 
like a little couch gag, I think, for the Guillermo del Toro um, Transit Horror opening, by the way. One of my favorite Transit Horror openings. Um, that's a picture I used in the thumbnail, but, um, so I think they did have a bit of, uh, like, source material, but I think they did great with what they had, and I think he looks really great, great Simpsonized, um, I love how he looks, and I think this is, uh, I was thinking that I would, um, like, not like this as much as the Headless Horseman, also, I haven't really gotten through the Headless Horseman question yet, um, but, you know, maybe, maybe he'll get better, but right now he's actually... Uh, he, I like him a little more, so, uh, yeah, sadly, that is going to be the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, su subscribe, go join my Discord server, comment your thoughts down below on the Edgar Allan Poe character and the House of Usher building, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Bye!